Hey guys, welcome back to my motherfucking YouTube channel. Back again with the motherfucking video. But today, we're gonna do a get ready with me to a night out. Anyways. So today, I'll probably might be going out tonight. Right now, it's 5 and I'm getting ready. I took a shower, but I just, yesterday I wet my hair. But, um, I just wet my body because I went to the Bulia. Bro, tell me why. I, I was kind of tipsy, but I'm good now. I took a nap. It went away. But now, it's time to get motherfucking ready to look like a motherfucking bad bitch. So, today, what I'm going to be wearing is this cute blue top. I was gonna wear black, but I'm like, I already wore black last time, so might as well wear blue. And then some jeans, and then I think sparkling chocolate mask. I'm not sure yet. But right now, I'm gonna do my makeup, you guys. I don't know if I should wear a contact. Should I wear a contact? I think so. I think I should wear a contact, to be honest. I should, right? Well, I don't know. Oh, I got this beautiful one from. from from Target, look, it's bigger than my face. It's bigger than my motherfucking face. And I got this crystal too. Look, oh my god, I got a lot of things. So lately I've been buying things that I don't need, but that's fine. Like this highlighter, I bought it because TikTok made me do it. Like literally, this is so pretty, dude. Look, let me show you. It's Fenty Beauty, right? I see. Fenty Beauty. Like, well, let me open it. Look. You see that? That's super pretty. Like, literally, that's super pretty. Like, I yesterday I had it on and it was beautiful. So, this is the shade How Many Carrots? So, you have to take a screenshot. It's that one. So, y'all yeah, make sure to grab your highlighter. I told my mom I bought this highlighter last time when it came in. I didn't tell her the price though. And then yesterday I was talking about it. And I was like, it was for, it was worth my $50. And then she was like, $50? And I'm like, oops, se me salió. <laughs> and it was $35, mother. No, but it was actually $50. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She didn't beat my ass. I'm still alive. And then I got some crystals too, you guys. At the, I got this crystal called, what's the, it's called Carnelian, it's a collar, and then I got a crystal de, I got Cancer Birthstone Kit, basically, so this one is a Selenite, this stone brings a deep sense of peace and tranquility, it also very protective stone it shields a person or space from negative external influences this one this one and then this is stone moonstone oh wait that's moonstone this is cell selenite and then the carnelian another one is in my purse and the rose quartz is in my purse too and then this one is Rodeo Night. Rodeo Night what? Rodeo Night nurtures love. It's also a calming stone. This stone helps bring friendships closer. This one. And then this one. Is this emerald? I think so. Yeah, it is. Emerald has been a symbol of spiritual awareness, protection, love, and wisdom. So I have all of these. So yeah, you guys. And then two are my purse. I carry them wherever I go. Ah, no! Yeah, you can check them out at... Right there. Magic crystal. Hopefully I can see that. Oh, shit! There it goes. What else have I bought? And then I bought this teeth whitening. I'm not sure. It's like I haven't tried it. I'm gonna try it Monday. Cause I wanna do them like four days straight, you know? Right. 
I'm starting to go to the motherfucking gym. I should do a story time. Oh yeah, let's do a story time. Oh my god, I got a lot to tell y'all. So basically, I decided to go to the gym to work on my mental health and to look to have that body that I want, you know? Literally. So hold on. Let me talk about this when I'm done with my eyebrows. Can I go do my eyebrows? Not very bad. So you guys, guess what? I started going to the gym, right? And on the first day that I went, find my, I found myself a boyfriend. <laughs> Not me. Getting a boyfriend at the gym on the first day. But he works there. there. Not, what? He works there. He works there, actually. My boyfriend works there. He's not my boyfriend, though. But you know what I mean. Like, literally, I went my for the first day I went with my friend, because I was so shy. Like, I was so scared not to, to go alone. I was like, fuck it, let me just go with her, you know? So I went with her, and then we went in, and then, bro, we went in, and then she scanned her key card, and I told the guy I was like I came here to sign up you know and then he was like come over here and I'm like okay so I went right and then uh, so I went over there and then I was in the thing t to sign up right and then he was like what's your name and I'm like huh cause being sort of like yo you know I'm like huh he was like what's your name and then I was like um natalie but basically my name is natalia but in spanish natalie is english you know i was like natalie and then uh he was like hi my name is blank nice to meet you and i'm like in my head i was like are you gonna help me or are you gonna flirt around you know <laughs> but he was nice he was cute not he not like that he was okay but it was kind of funny so he helped me sign up too and then I was we went to another part of the to another computer basically and then he was like if he wanted to give he wanted me to give him he wanted to give me a tour basically and then he was like you want me to give you a tour or your phone your phone give you a tour and I'm like uh, my phone give me a tour and then later on when we finished everything, he was like, um, what happened? Oh, cause he told me you're gonna, after when you leave, go to the front desk so they'll give you your key card. And I'm like, you're not gonna be here? He was like, no, I'm gonna be off my shift. That he was gonna go play basketball. And I'm like, in my head I was like, okay, so you wanted me to give, so you wanted to give me a tour and you're gonna be off your shift in a bit? Common sense, you know? Just say you want to spend time with me. Nah. <laughs> I have been talking to the universe. Like, literally. Call me fucking crazy or whatever, but... I have been talking to the motherfucking universe. And the fuck... It, it's true. Because literally, okay. When was it? One of these days, I was falling asleep. I was literally... It was like... I was like, universe... Give me a sign that I have to go to college. I'll see a butterfly, right? Because I usually don't see butterflies outside. I don't. Like, de vez en cuando, you know? But not really. I usually don't see butterflies. So then, the next day, I was heading out to go to the car wash. Bitch, the fuck? Literally, I walked out the door and then pasa una mariposa and then pasa otra vez and then lands on the front of my house in front of my house and i'm like bro what the fuck and it was just standing right it was just right there i even have a picture like there it was just there and i'm like universe is this a sign that i'm supposed to go to college and clearly yes but i'm like shit i'm still not going to college but i was trying it out i was just trying it out if it was true but shit it's fucking true <sighs> I was like, universe, I was just kidding about that. I don't want to go to college. And I'm not going to go to college. 
I know there was it was a sign to go to college, but I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just trying to trying it trying trying it out because shit, I don't want to go to college. <laughs> I think two days ago I went to college with my friend to to fix her classes, right? And now when I was there, I was like, oh no, college is not for me because they were saying classes that I was like. I took that in high school. It was microbiology, anatomy, todo eso. But literally, I took that in high school. Now I'm like, I don't want to go through that shit again. Another time, when was it? I was like, universe, if I have to go back to that person, give me a sign that I'll steal white Camaro. Okay, so then later that day, I manifest, no, not manifested, but I talked to the universe that morning. And then when I went to the, oh, it was Thursday. And then when I went to the gym, right, I was... I went to the gym, did whatever I got to do, and then, um, um, I was heading out, and I was heading out, I look up, I open the door, I was looking down, and I look up, and I look to my left, bitch, a motherfucking camera was literally parked in front of the fucking gym, in front of the gym, bro, I was like, bro, what the hell, I even took a picture, bro, I was like, you gotta be kidding me, I seen the white camera, I'm like, so I have to go back? Shit, I'm not going back, but I was just trying it out. But I don't want to go back, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, do I really want to go back to that toxic? You know? I'm just like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Oh, I should have done my hair first. Nah, I'm good. They're like, damn, she skipped? Yes, I did, and I still graduated. Period, yeah. <laughs> Now it's time to set. What time is it? Shake that ass. I'll be shaking ass tonight because. Well, I haven't asked my parents. But I'm going to tell them. Papa, I'm going to go to the club. Like last time. But the last time uh, I was drunk. Last time was my birthday, bro. I was drunk as fuck. And they still let me go. And I'm like. What? I have a, not I don't have a curfew, but I was like, I'll be here by four, you know? It's because it's an after party. I know, I know. That's the only club I've been to. It's like five minutes away from my house, so why not go? The fuck? You know? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it, let's go. Oh, and there's a lot of cute guys. Like, what if I find my, blood? hell no. There's just a bunch of hoes in there. Because I'm one of them too. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. Dallas people is for everyone, so basically I want to share it already. So I'm not gonna talk to someone in my city or be with someone in my city because Dallas is for everyone. Not me though. I gotta stay safe though. Eh? So I went to Walmart right the day before I head out. No, the day I head out to town, we went to Walmart. And there was there was these cute lashes, but I really wanted them. And then I was, uh, my brother told the customer service, like, if they could come and get the lashes because they had, like, I needed a key for them to grab the lashes, right? And then I was waiting for, literally for fucking 20 minutes and nothing llegó. And I was so sad because I really wanted them. It was the mist lashes. They were super cute. They look natural. Like, I imagined it in my eye already. So I'm like, I want those for sure. And I'm trying to rip them off, but I couldn't. And I'm like, I just need scissors. And then I waited like fucking 20 minutes. And then I asked again. And then the, I literally asked like four times. That's how you know this Walmart where I live at is ghetto. These lashes are cute. I love these. So these are the lashes. I could take a screenshot. I literally love this shade. Because it's the shade of my lip. And then it's just like, you know. You know. And I apply this. This is why I don't make parties at my house because no se echan la policía. Who are talking to? To myself? What the fuck? They have parties, no me invitaron. 
cosas sad. So guys, I'm done. Ooh, ignore my boobs. But you guys, I'm done. Let me, this way, look. I like the whore. But that's fine. We're going to the club. But you guys, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Turn your notifications on every time you notify when I upload. And remember, stay positive. Be positive and think positive and shake some ass for me because life is too short to be sad. Nah. But you guys, and I love you guys with all my heart. And I'll see you guys on my next motherfucking video. But you guys. Did I say that right? I was stuttering. Now nah, whatever. He's sad for the circulator. I'm shaped when my mama gave me. I'm shaped yeah. my money maker.